Hello, hello. Hello, we are live. Welcome everybody to our regular Sunday thing that has no name. It is, it is this. <laughs> um, and we've got some stuff. We should just call it the Sunday Live. Okay. There you go. That works. It's got a name now. Very descriptive. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, <clears throat> we're not sourcing <laughs> so we went out buying yeah, stuff you don't again. believe us anymore though do you <laughs> we'll keep saying hello it. jeff i don't really want you on my lap today though because i've hello stuff um jeff is fine um thank you for people who've inquired how he is he seems much better i don't think he's yeah. he's 100 percent yet but he's we've been experimenting with different foods we thought maybe it was to do with his foods yeah, I wondered if maybe there was a food that wasn't agreeing with him, so he wasn't, because he kept leaving the dry food, um, and then finding himself hungry, so then eating mud probably made himself ill by eating the mud. So now I've, yeah, we've we've changed his food, haven't we? Yeah, well, we've, so far, we've so tried good. two or three different sorts, and things seem to have improved anyway he's wandered off now i don't think he's going to come yeah well he thought i'd gone and i went back in the living room and he'd moved my cushion out of my space they'd moved his blanket into my space <laughs> and he's like yeah they've gone i can have the whole sofa to myself that's what he does <laughs> he's a cheeky little sound so if you follow jeff on instagram you'll see some of the pictures he's he, he loves curling up on a cushion resting his, his precious little head on a cushion <laughs> Little spoilt sausage. Yeah, is. his new thing as well is that he really loves. Um, I've got like a sort of a, a round puff type thing, and he's now decided that that's then his new favourite place that he likes to sleep. Yeah, I keep finding him curled up on that, like a little throne. <laughs> Anyway, welcome everybody. If you are watching us live, uh, good to see you. Let's say a few hellos. Uh, you are welcome to say hello in the side chat. Uh, Adrian, welcome. Teresa, Steve and Dave, welcome. Gary, hello, hello from Hitchin in Hertfordshire. That sounds nice. <laughs> Hi, Gary. Uh, Leanne, good to see you. Lynn, Ben, welcome everybody. It's a few more. We've got Carol with us. Wheels. What does it say? Wheels, wheels resale. Re, wheels resale. I can't say resale that. It's like resale. a tongue twister. <laughs> uh, Santa and Mark and Antoinette. Good evening. Oh, Paul says I'm new here. So hello, Paul. Thank you for joining us. Hello, Paul. Welcome. Everybody is welcome. Um, we have some stuff. And hi, Margaret and Uncle hey, Albert. Uncle Albert. During the war. <laughs> we didn't have time for jumble trails during the war. I loved um, Uncle Albert in Only Fools, just probably my favourite character, to be honest. Yeah. So, yeah, we went out to a jungle trail. Um, when was it? Yesterday? It was yesterday, yeah, so feel, long ago. Feels like a long so time long ago. ago. I was just reading Christina's comment there. She said that she, it's first time joining the live. So, hello, Christina. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Been watching for a while. This is the first time joining the live. Hope everyone is well. Good to see you. Um, oh, Lainey's in. Lainey's back home after being in hospital. Uh, she's put out a video explaining what's been going on. So I hope you're feeling much better now. Um, no doubt we'll catch up soon, Lainey. So we thought we'd share some stuff because we're not buying as much as we normally would at this point in the year. But we did go out sourcing and we did buy a few nice things, didn't we? Um, yeah. I stumbled across an epic haul. Of, of toys <laughs> so we'll share some of them where I, do you want to start you've got some I, stuff um, there i didn't quite um meet the the haul i had from my last video that went up a couple of days ago or did it go up yesterday i can't remember oh yes, you found today if you've not so, seen that check out link to andrew's channel is below uh a video what did you call it i hit the jackpot yeah i did oh my god yeah yeah um if you're not seen it go and check it out it's quite awesome <laughs> I don't think we shared those on, on this haul here, did I we? Think like we did. This? Did we? Oh, yeah, maybe. But we, I didn't really know about prices at that point. We bought something for ourselves. And when we bought it, the woman says, Oh, you'll be able to do your Kim Kardashian selfies. <laughs> yeah. This has like a, a tripod. A oh, tripod. there it is. 
and it's just it might be easier when you're doing videos elsewhere to yeah. have some lighting um, it's all right in the summer because you know the light the um light in the sunroom is fine but mind you when we move we might not have such good light oh look at that beautiful beautiful <laughs> so yeah it's just a ring light and i assume we can mount they're quite good for photography as well actually. what's this bit for just moving it I what can you don't know hmm? i'm sure somebody i think jack's got one actually i've just seen jack in the chat hello jack um so, perhaps jack knows what that is anyway the lady uh, we had a quite a nice chat with the lady because you can mount your phone on it can't you so there might be a, like a a mount that goes in the middle there that you can that's what I was uh, trying to work the, that out. Yeah. I couldn't work out how. Anyway, she'd used it once, apparently. It's got its packaging, etc. So we thought could be practical and useful. Yeah. We bought it for a fiver. So. If we don't end up using it, we will yeah. sell it. I'm, I'm thinking that also for photography, it would be really useful. For Ellen? Um, no, for like product photography. Oh, yeah, of in, course. Like yeah, yeah. When, the, when the light's really dark in the winter, that's going to be brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Right towards the end, I think it was, we went to a stall and I think all we bought at that stall was a box of ink. Um, these are Epson ones, which should do well. I've sold so many of these different Epson carts over the years. Uh, one has been opened, but the contents are still sealed. So there's three individual Epson carts there. There's a load of these aftermarket ones, which I'll probably just lot up and do a bundle. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. Uh, paid two pounds for the box and there's also three of these little date stamps which go right up to 20 20 20 i'm trying to read it backwards I was 20 20 25 maybe <laughs> anyway they didn't look very used what the, the ink stamp? they look really clean these have never been used no. i don't know no, no ink has touched those. Anyway. Okay, so Jack said, no idea. Never seen an attachment like that. Um, Jason Entwistle says, I have a ring light, but mine has a different attachment for mounting my phone. Well, there was a little... It's a puzzle then. There was a little phone attachment. Yeah, there is bit, a phone attachment. Which may somewhere. have something that might attach to that. Yeah, probably. But I, I, I don't know. Probably. Um, right, what else? Oh, I bought some video games. Who likes video games? Hands up. I can't see your hands. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I whipped these prices off because I paid 20 quid the lot. Uh, it should be in the video. I was filming. Whip these off and you can see what's underneath. So these are Switch games. Uh, I did buy a Switch when it came out, and then we got rid of it because I just wasn't using it. And then we got Ellen a Switch Lite, which she uses a lot. Um, but anyway, it's Sonic Forces, Big Brain Academy, Brain versus Brain, and two Paw Patrol games. <laughs> um, I paid £20 a lot, and I reckon I will... Double my money, if not a bit more, 40, 50 quid, I should get back at a push. Question here um, oh, what? from Marty's channel says, how long have you been selling on eBay and how long before you broke even? Uh, we've been selling on eBay for now 20 years. Full time, 20 years um, selling on eBay since 98. Um, we didn't really invest anything to, to, to have to break even. So we, we, we started off making money. Yeah. Um, it's not like we had a load of investment to recoup in that way. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Lainey says, yes, it's a phone attachment. I have one on my, my desk one. Oh, okay. Because there is a little bit. Where is that bit then? Maybe it's in the box. So you said, oh, you can clip yeah. a phone to it. So that... It's got a little release, little shutter release. Yeah, so I guess it fits onto there and then you can twizzle it whichever way you need. Can you now? Yeah. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Technical term, you know, twizzle. What's that word? Oh, oh, nailed it. 
Um, this is thrilling viewing, I know. <laughs> I uh, can't even see what he's doing. This, this is the content you've come for. Watching me do something um, off screen. Yeah. So now we can mount the phone there and do our, you know, Instagram poses. <laughs> That's the thumbnail. <laughs> Um, Jack said, did you see my vintage haul I managed to pick up last weekend? It was from a lovely couple selling all their old stuff to go traveling around the world. I haven't seen it yet. It Ooh. has come up on my um, subscriptions, <laughs> but I, yeah. I'm behind on videos, Jack. I'll have behind. to. Maybe we'll watch it later when yeah. we're on the sofa. We'll put you on the big telly, Jack. <laughs> um, Boldfine says, might get criticism for this comment. Hang on, it's jumped. Yep. Um, but I enjoyed your live on Thursday, but it would be good to get new faces on with new ideas, 100%. maybe non-YouTubers for a change. We we plan with that to get a guest on each week if we can. Um, it, it depends who we can find, who who is free and available and wants to come on. But yeah, um, it will be the same three regulars. Chris was a guest that first one. And then hopefully we'll get anyone who we can on we spoke to somebody when we had um was it last week or the week before i think it's two weeks ago we talked about charity shops we're trying not oh, to moan yeah. about charity shops um and somebody who was quite high up in a charity chain kindly got in touch and said they were they may be able yeah. to come on for a chat so that would be really uh, interesting and somebody messaged me on instagram as well which i haven't replied to yet but mm. I did see that yeah do you think that eBay are getting better with regards to sellers on buyer's return or still the same? Getting better with regards to well, returns. It's a tricky one because returns are auto accepted now anyway, pretty much, aren't they? We've got a couple on the go. At least we have the protection if you're a top rated seller where you can use the 50% refund thing. And we have used that a number of times. I made a video where I pointed out why I think they're never going to solve this problem because returns, all of those intricacies around he said, she said, this is what turned up, this is the condition it's in, it's all based on trust. And if somebody's prepared to lie, they'll get away with whatever they like. That's the reality, I think. Um, I don't know that it's much better or worse than it ever was now. I tell you what is maybe worse and tipping it towards things are worse is that people are much more inclined to return stuff. People are much more in that headspace of, oh, I don't like it or whatever. Mm. Just send it back. We're in that culture of that's fine, that's acceptable, which Amazon has kind of created. And eBay is following suit that's the level of customer service people expect now and we touched on this in our live on thursday um yeah so that might be making it worse uh right what next do you want to find some stuff yeah bought some nice ceramics um paid up on this paid three pounds this very nice bottle which is um pearson's of chesterfield made in england Um, no idea on the value, but I know that kind of style of bottle and vase and pot and all that kind of stuff are um, very popular at the moment. So I took a chance on that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. It's very nicely proportioned. You can get really much bigger ones of these, can't you? Yeah. Excuse me. Your mum and dad have got a couple in their bathroom. like. Yeah. Oh, whoppers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just highlighted Carol's comment there. Hi, Nick and Andrea. Found the equivalent to the famous Emma Bridgewater hen. Yes. Ooh. We had a chicken, didn't we, which we sold for 300? Yes. Yes. Um, a rare 1987 green clover My Little Pony found in a charity shop for 50 pence worth 150 to 200. Oh, lovely. Very nice find. Yeah, we don't see ponies very often. No. We well, saw not the expensive ones not, anyway. <laughs> not the vintage. We saw some modern ones at the weekend, didn't we? And some fake ones. Yeah, lots of fakies. Yeah. Well done. Nice find. Um, what's this? Luby Lou. I noticed eBay are now doing free authentication of designer bags over 500 pounds, I think. Sounds like a good idea. If I returns it goes to eBay to verify. 
Oh, that is cool. Mm, that is a good idea. Hmm. Oh, the chat's just jumped. Sorry if I've missed stuff. It just flew down. Um, I had a return. This is all that glitters. I had a return because the buyer said the item I sold as spares or repairs, I know where this is going, was broken. Yes. It was only a few pounds into it, so no biggie, but it's frustrating. Yes. Um, I think if you sell many items, spares, repair, you'll you'll come across that. People go, it doesn't work. Well, yes. I, I described it as not working. Which part of sold as spares, repair? I think I shared in a video quite a while back how many times I repeated broken, sold as seen, not tested, made not working, what, all of these. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah, I've still had those returned as not working. It's just, yeah. Does your head in. How's your head in? Right, do you want to find something else to read out and then we'll carry on? Um, Steve says, I often find if I sell something and it goes to an antique shop, they'll return it a couple of weeks later after they've had a go at selling it. Oh, never had that experience. But that, yeah. It's a bit cheeky, isn't it? It is. And, and, you know, they know they're within their rights to return it. In that case, at least they'll have to pay the return, I guess. Um, yeah, Sleaford said the impending second Royal Mail price hike will really kill low value items mm -hmm. on eBay like DVDs, CDs, etc. Hardly worth selling them now. It's been getting that way for a while, hasn't it? It, yeah. You haven't really been picking up anything. Right? I know that we. I'm clearing out what's left, yeah. but yeah. I know it, that we're trying to reduce, but with fees and shipping, it's you've got to really be at four or five quid to be worth doing now and yes i'm aware i've got stuff on my store at three pounds you're gonna if the item costs you nothing you might make 50p out of that now yeah, yeah. hi <laughs> hello how's that Dwayne? it is um so shall i grab one of these oh i'll tell you what i share i found peter ray you'll like these the bag is filthy and disgusting yeah um, at a store, there was uh, they were selling out of the back of a car. Again, it should be in the footage when we eventually edit it, put it up. And they had some lawn bowls. Uh, <clears throat> these are all Mark Commanders, dated 07. Um, I wasn't sure they wanted 20 on them, so I thought, well, I'll I quickly snapped a picture, went back to the car and had a quick look. And the top end of these is 100. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to just go back and get them. So I did. So a set of four lawn bowls. They're a size 1M. Um, they made a point of telling me they're ladies' bowls. It, there isn't really such a thing as ladies' and gents' bowls. They're just different sizes and weights. But, yeah, so hopefully we'll do okay on those. They need a good clean-up. I don't know what all of this gubbins is, isn't it? Mm. Just powdery, white powdery substance in the bowls <laughs> bag there is. <laughs> Objection! Objection! <laughs> Speculation! <laughs> So, yeah, £20, hopefully into 100 We'll push for that price and, and see where it goes. The bag will be probably thrown away because it's disgusting and a bit smelly too. Yeah. Did we have a bowls bag once that had mice that had eaten it? And <laughs> it was yeah. mice had peed in it. And mice it had been living in it and weeing in it, and, and we couldn't work out why the car stunk, yeah. and then my office was smelly. And it's like, it's that bag. Uh, yeah. Get rid of it. Don't do well with bowls bags. <laughs> Um, Jack said, saw your post about the shop the other day. Are you excited at the prospect of having a physical selling space again if you go into the antiques booth? Um, yes, actually, but I'm more excited that we don't have to man it. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to man it again. I wouldn't want to be tied to a shop. But yes, I do mm. like the idea of having a physical space again. Yeah. Post, did you put a post at the shop? You did. Oh, I did. I did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that was a window display. No, it was the lettering. When I got the lettering for the sec, that was the second. We moved the shop to a much bigger unit, and that was one half of the frontage we had, that picture. I just uh, ordered up and stuck in all of the lettering. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think it'll be fun to have an antiques booth. We may have to get ourselves on waiting lists because they tend to be really popular. When we were looking at houses down in Ramsgate, we inquired in a really nice um, antique centre there. And they mm, said yeah, there's I like a year place. wait or something. Yeah. It's like, what? So we're expecting that, to be honest. Yeah. Um, Becky Buys Sells Plays is said, uh, not heard of that brand of bowls, but sold a set of Thomas Taylor for 90 today. Nice. And Monkey Thrifter says, Nick, if you have seen my message I sent you on Instagram about Blackpool Meetup this <coughs> month. Yes. <coughs> Sorry. Dust triggers me. Um, yeah, Peter's arranging a Blackpool Meetup. I can't see us going all that way. I know I did speak to you briefly while you were live with Andrew. Um, what are the dates? Did you put in the dates there? We can talk about it briefly. I don't think they were there. Just next month. Next month. Have you got a date for it? Put another message in, Pete, and we'll read it out. So anyone in, in the in the Blackpool region can meet up. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, Peter Ray says the, the powder will be chalk used to mark the bowls and hit, yes. the, bowls when hit the jack. It, well, yeah, well thought out, Pete. I think you're spot on there. Yeah, I think it's beyond that, to be honest, Susan. It's mouldy. <laughs> I mean, it... <laughs> Yeah, we could try, but it, it's 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 a bit grim. It might have looked better on here than it is in person. <laughs> yeah, Christina says the same about the chalk. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so uh, what else? Do you want to grab some more ceramics from your box? Yeah, I was just trying to get to the end of the chat. I think we're nearly there, though. Yes. Yeah, Pete, put in the details of your meetup, and we'll read it out for you. Um, right, okay. I've got a couple of Christmas mugs. Mugs and Christmas, you know me. Um, but I've got to find them because they're wrapped up here. San we. Santa's ears just pricked up like that. <laughs> got this really nice Danoon one. Danoon. It's got that. That was my best Scottish. Did you? Could you tell? It's got that on it, and this one is Royal Burlington. Uh, this is this is for Santa. There we go. That's you. And your elves. So, yeah, we've got those. Um, I actually bought four mugs. I don't know if I could find the other one. And I paid £5 for them. Swift Smart Solutions. Suggestion, as we're from Kent, I can yeah. recommend Whitstable as a good town to pick up bargains. Okay. Okay, these are the other two that I bought with it. I don't think we've ever sourced in Whitstable, have we? Um, which are these small ones. You know, I like a big mug, but <laughs> they are I'm, very I'm your favourite. They are West German, and I can't read that, actually, what that says. But anyway, they're West German, so I picked those up as well. Am I your favourite big mug? <laughs> yeah, they're really cool. I like them. <laughs> I'm just ignoring you. Oh, thanks. Well, there's nothing I can uh, say there. That... <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Hi, funny. Jack. Hi, Nick. It's Jack. When when the next picking video, please, can you give a shout out to me and my girlfriend, Bronwyn, from the Highlands? I can do it now. Hi, Jack and Bronwyn from the Highlands. <laughs> <laughs> Did you place an order then? I might I might do a picking one tomorrow. I don't know. If, yeah, lots going on at the minute. Um, but yeah, hello, Jack and Bronwyn. Are we doing anything for the Jubilee weekend? We've got no plans. Where does it I say? I don't that? think there are any. Oh, Teresa's no. comment there. I don't think there's any street parties or anything that well, for our road. TJ has a word of advice to oh. anyone sending electronic items make sure you take a copy of the serial number before sending it just in case they try to send an old broken one back. Yes, I would add to that, take a picture of it and put it in the listing and add it to your description um, because it then stops people thinking they can do that in the first place. Um, but, yeah, it's a good tip. Oh, it's all coming out Yeah, now. so from the same stall, I bought one of these little um, fine bone china ducks. I've had different design of this duck before and you, you called it okay. you called it a flat duck <laughs> yeah because it was lying down 
<laughs> I said it was a flat duck. And you that took your eye on that stool as well, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, Andrew was busy collecting loads of ceramics off a stool and I came up because I was the one carrying the money. <laughs> and uh, and we, we chucked this in, didn't we, for whatever, a pound or so. A pound, I think it was. Coleman's mustard. I thought it was really dinky. It's cute. No idea if it has any value. Don't buy it because I picked that up because we haven't looked, <laughs> I haven't looked that up. No. Probably worth it. So all of those things that I've just showed you, including the bottle, that was all £10, wasn't it? all in yes i believe so yeah and i bought this from a different um stall it is um, rob scotton and it's a port myrian mug so i've got so that because it's port myrian is that how we say port myrian that's what lex says and she's welsh so i believe her lex is always right port myrian we're going with because people say port merian don't they, they? do yeah I don't know. Okay, so Peter has said Blackpool Meetup is the 25th of June, or Jane, that's how they say it up there, <laughs> <laughs> at Velvet Coaster Weatherspoons, 2 p.m. onwards. Z and Bex are coming along. Oh, they've got Superstar reseller Z royalty up there. Z and Bex. Z and Bex. <laughs> They'll be in the corner signing the autographs. <laughs> Yeah, um, like I said to you, Pete, well, I, I can't see us making that, but I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, yeah, it would have been a lovely weekend away, but we've got so much going on with the house move and everything. Yeah. Um, yeah, another time maybe. Okay, so if you are in that area, uh, go along. I assume it's open to anybody. Right. What have I missed? What have I missed? Ah, Thanks for the weather station. No, thanks for the purchase. I plan to collect tomorrow. Good stuff. Did I send it to a pickup point then? I can't remember. Um, sorry, I'm just flicking through so much chat. Hi, Dan Bush. Best advice for a new reseller. I think something I've always said when this comes up is don't instantly go out and spend loads of money. Have a big clear out and sell your own stuff first because you'll get used to the system, how it works. And you'll get used to postage and packing and all of that stuff before you start shelling out money on stuff. And when you do start shelling out money, maybe start in a niche that you already know a lot about. Yeah, yeah we always say that. Because um, you're off to a head start then. Um, but yeah, all the best with it if you have a go. Um, oh, someone agrees with me. That doesn't happen very often. Totally agree with Nick. Always take a photo of the serial number and put it in the listing. Puts off most scammers. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, it certainly helps. I forget yeah. sometimes and it annoys me. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> Hello. And if you haven't subscribed to Cheryl's YouTube, then you're missing out. If you're really into your vintage, you're selling your vintage, Cheryl is a wealth of knowledge when it comes to vintage. So, yeah, subscribe to Cheryl's um, YouTube channel, which is called Pound Girl. Uh, oh, you! Oh, I saw that order come in. That's a really nice set. That Outsiders. That used to be Andrea's. It did, yeah. Um, we've had a reluctantly big... cleared out a lot of my. Um, old brat pack stuff <laughs> yeah but it's a really nice limited edition blu-ray set so yeah thanks for the order good stuff um i do my uh, selling the house i miss i'm i don't know what the last bit means sorry <laughs> random question oh good i like them we've got three times old 80s ambulance stretches in Oh, what? Okay. I can't work out if there's a value to them or not. Oh, I've no idea. That's not something we've ever dabbled in, I'm afraid. Not our area of expertise. <laughs> I'm not sure what is, but that certainly is. Somebody isn't. else in the chat might be. Yeah. I'd say um, list them and see what happens with that. I'm not sure you'll find many completed for those. How random is that? What would people use them for? I suppose you could upcycle them. As what? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. 
Right. Um, what should we do? Shall I start sharing this big haul of toys? Yeah. So we, we got to a stall. I think I was filming in the car and I looked at the stall across the road and I went, oh, I see Lego and Sylvanians. And we went and we bought everything. And it was not everything they had, but it was most. And we almost cleared the stall, didn't we? Um, I had to pay a fair bit. Let me show you some of it first, because this will should make you smile. Because guess what I found again? Bear with. Talk amongst yourselves. Can you guess what it is yet? <laughs> right. Right. Guess is in the chat. Oh, hang on. You can see the there roof. There is a delay, though. It's coming anyway. Too late. Um, this is the exact same house we sold last week for, I think, I think it went at 60 in the end. And this one has even more accessories and figures from what I can work out. It's also complete with its banister. Usually it's missing one or two bits here. Oh, I say that. There's a bit missing there. I think it's in the bag, though. So there was that. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a nursery. And I actually discovered I have another nursery tucked up there, which I didn't realise. Should have bundled that with the other stuff. There's a nursery. <laughs> Ken says, is this the new house? <laughs> yeah, we need that. We need to shrink ourselves first and then that'll be fine. <laughs> this is really cool. It's Three house for the tree, garden. <laughs> tree house. And this sits on here, look. Isn't that epic? That is cool. Tree house. Um, what else is it? Oh, and another. Oh, this goes... Where does this bit go then? I don't know. Is, this, is it the same as that bit? No. No. I don't actually know. I don't know where that bit goes. <laughs> um, and furniture and characters. I haven't actually been through this, but oh. This is some of the Lego. We'll show you the Lego. There's tons of Lego as well. So there's the board, which is the indoor or outdoor part for the big house. The stairs that we had from the last one. So let's see what families we've got. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, he's so cool. He's got... <laughs> It doesn't look like spine. Obviously, he's a hedgehog. It just looks like mental hair. It looks like <laughs> Tina Turner, the yeah. hedgehog. <laughs> so pretty the best. That's cool. I'm just think... going to highlight this question so that I don't lose it. We can come back to it and go to the end of the chat. Do you want to read it now? Oh, we could do. Um, so Cheryl's asking, I hear you're moving. I'm planning a house move, but I'm dreading having to move all the stock. Are you going to wrap up all the breakables prior to the move? Dreading it. <sighs> yeah, we'll definitely be wrapping them and protecting them and probably won't put it in a cardboard box. We've got some like big plastic crates of my like really industrial ones. Um, yeah. So we'll probably fill those with them. Yeah, um, definitely. We've, we've got a bit, a bit of extra. We've got 10 great big old retail stackable crates, Yeah. Um, which we'll put all the breakables in. Uh, we are hiring a moving firm, so we're going to trust them to handle it all, which is, we've always done it ourselves in the past, but this is such a big move. And with the issues I've had with my back recently, we're going to take the plunge and pay a firm to do it for us. But yeah, we're going to pack up everything that's left. There's no way we're going to sell everything. We have cleared so much stock in the last couple of months. It's awesome. Um, the loft is virtually empty of stock um because yeah. all the shoes have gone um we i've cleared so much of mine we've obviously got loads and loads of breakables le left which we're not going to get through let's be honest no. um, um yeah that's how it is yeah look, look at this guy and of course we keep buying more and we keep buying more big bushy tail Heat squirrel cute. squirrel um, Stephen Gill says, how do we justify to the tax man or woman stock bought at um, jumble sales, boot sales, blah, blah, blah. I have 
seen you touch on it before, but my hard skull needs a refresher course. I think you've done a video on it. I you? did a video where I we got our our friend and and our accountant. He is now our accountant for the uh, for the company that we started. Um, Aaron, I did a video. If you search, what would it be? Nick Hills tax maybe it should come up that you'll see a picture of me and Aaron on screen and we talk about claiming um expenses for cash purchases and as an accountant from an accountant's point of view he explained what you'll need to do yep um okay Gary thank you very much bunny look at that later uh I want to say dog Oh, those ones that we talked about, what were they last week? They turned out to be dogs in the end. Oh, yeah. That family. Oh, wow, there's loads in here. Looks like there's a whole family of these dogs. Oh, there's loads of clothes. Uh, question well. from Angela. When you buy in bulk, if someone asks, do you say you're resellers? Sometimes I have other items and I've said they're for family members, grandchildren, etc. Yes, we we don't say that we're resellers. We say they're for family members I or have for done. ourselves. I have or... done. It, de it depends on the scale of the deal because sometimes it's just obvious. Yeah, and there have been times where it's backfired. So I tend not to. <laughs> I just pretend I'm buying it for myself or for people I know. I think you have to go with how you feel. Um, like I said, when I when I bought van loads of gear or whatever, it's obvious I'm a dealer. So there's no point in pretending otherwise. But, yeah, when you're just buying a, a whole bunch of ceramics or whatever, no, we, we don't tend yeah, to talk Cheryl's about it. just going to hire a firm too. It's too much for the stock, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So, anyway, I was halfway through sharing this haul. So there's... Probably more furniture than last time. This is full of it. We, we've got rid of all the Hetma Hoovers, haven't we? Oh, they went ages ago. Yeah. Why, someone asking if they're up there? Oh, yeah, no more Henry Hoovers, Santa. <laughs> so. Um, Gary Nicholson says, make sure if you wrap your goods yourself that the company who's moving you will still pay out. We couldn't claim when they broke pottery okay maybe we'll just put it in our car <laughs> maybe we'll not, it wouldn't all fit in in those crates no, maybe not we'll be able to move some we could take the whatever valuable stuff we've got we'll put in our car in a few big crates mm. in the big car yeah you're way too excited over those dogs apparently <laughs> <laughs> i like a dog and look Look, this is the third one I've had of these in two weeks. It's only 31 days until Christmas. No, 31 weeks until Christmas. I was going to say, it's not a month till <laughs> Christmas. What's wrong days. with you? <laughs> 31 weeks until Christmas. Don't believe everything you read in the chat. <laughs> right. So there was that. And then they had loads of Friends Lego. Like so. This has one unopened bag in it. Oh, you missed the little hedgehog. Oh, the hedgepig. He is cool. He is as. so cute. <laughs> I don't, I, I'm assuming it's a he. I don't really know. We'll, we'll, we'll call him Tina. Um, yeah. So there's a whole bunch of unopened. These are Lego sealed bags. So never been used. Oh, bits are falling everywhere. Um, answering Cosy Steve about where to look for um, garage sales, jumble trails, etc. Um, I use Facebook and I Google. So I just Google jumble trails, garage sales, yard sales um, in my area and set, do the same search on Facebook and see what comes up. It's a little hoose. And this, if I can get it right, it... it twist oh it's not going to do it okay that, maybe it doesn't um yeah so there's only that set that they left built the rest they had taken apart and put into bags yeah with jumble trails i know i keep talking about this app which is uh not finished um we're hoping that's one of the things we can help to make easier is finding them 
because hopefully people will list them on the app and share them on the app and then you'll be able to just search either on the interactive map near to where you are or in your there's, there'll be a feed which lists from you further away all of the sales that are happening so within an instant you'll be able to find out what's going on um that's one of the big things we're trying to solve with the app so yeah the... to be exact and santa knows it's only 217 days until christmas okay <laughs> a bit different from 30 or whatever um, you said a minute ago jeff is on the sofa chilling out um do you ever get guitars not really no i have sold guitars in the past um uh, sold a couple of acoustics, the odd electric, but very few. Loads of Guitar Hero guitars, sold lots of them. That's the set I just showed you. Big, thick manual for this one. Oh, yeah. um, so that one's the only one that they had still assembled on the stool. Yeah. And then there's... Um, we're not going to afford um, an electric mini for quite some time. <laughs> no. We... Not until the second hand value comes down on them. We've ended up buying a house which is going to use all of our available money. Mm. The one we talked about a few weeks ago, we would have had a huge surplus left over to buy an electric car and do lots of other things. Yeah. We've ended up going for the kind of house we really, really wanted yeah. and spending all the money. <laughs> <laughs> and every day you wake up and go, what are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> We're going to be skint. Um, thank you, Diane. Thank you. What's that? Apparently my glasses match my hair. She likes my glasses. Oh, so that gives you an idea that of the sets that are involved. Yes, I do drive. Then. Yes, the Mini is actually mine and the Ford is Nick's car, but we both drive both. <laughs> and that's most of the Lego there. So um, I asked how much they wanted on the Lego and, and she was totting it up and umming and ahhing and whatever and came to maybe 50 pounds for the lego um and i was like oh okay and then i said what about sylvanians and she was like oh five pounds for the house five pounds for the tree house whatever and i said well if i was to take everything you have i'll be happy to do 50 all in because i knew the house was we'd sold one last week for 60 um and then there was i don't know five minutes if it felt like longer when she was trying to phone her mum and then texting her mum and then phoning i don't know who phone a friend um and eventually her mum came back and said yeah it's absolutely fine um sell the lot so we bought everything for 50 i would imagine there's gonna be i don't know somewhere near a couple of hundred pounds worth once it's all sold through so i was very happy with that um yeah what area are we moving to cheryl says elaine has answered for us east anglia <laughs> yeah about an hour and a half away from where we are that's full as well look lego friends horses, Ooh, horses. we got a white one we got a brown one we've got a little dappled one <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have fun with these aren't you oh i do love lego I've, I've only just cleared out all the Lego we had, and I've just bought another massive haul. So that lots of little Lego friends figures. Still very popular, always a market. Have a look. It sells itself. Tons of it. So I'll get that sorted and listed imminently. Yeah. Oh, I didn't share this bit. Is this Sylvanian? It's a very strange kind of shipwreck thing. Oh, yeah. I don't know quite what that is, but it, it's a bit odd. um oh yeah oh that's all right elaine don't worry <laughs> so one of these a different model uh last week for 100 pounds i shared it on instagram i think and in a video we found another one but it's a different model that i don't think holds anywhere near that value um it's a smaller thing with a flip top but i think that they still do quite well so we picked up another one of those 
Alan picked up a 28 piece unused 1960s Pyrex cooking set today for seven pounds. Wow, that's a bargain. No, what seven pounds? Oh, Josh would be so jealous. How did they come <laughs> up with that as a price? Amazing. Yeah, so very nice in its box. Oh, you, I think we were struggling to find much at the beginning of this jumble trail. And for a while, oh, yeah, for a while, the only the only thing we'd bought was two mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, bought these. I I think these are keepers. Oh, okay. Yeah, I really like these. Yeah, that I think they'll go with the the house that yeah, we this uh, is are hoping to buy. By, um, P. E. Jeeves Wood Turner. Oh, that says you on it. Yeah. So are you shroom? Yeah, I really really like these. That is nice. I think these are going to be lovely. I'm going to be doing a lot of dusting in the new house because I'm collecting lots of little knickknacks and things to fill shelves with. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it took a while for this jumble trail to get going for us. There weren't that many stalls and we were driving around um, just not finding much. And then all of a sudden we found quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So... That was your first purchase, and yep. about the only thing we picked up for the first half an hour or so. Um, oh, yeah, this surprised me. We went up to a stall. Oh, look, Sharon said, yep. I think, hang on, it's jumped. I think you came to my house yesterday, thought I recognised you. Ah, oh, cool. Did we buy anything? <laughs> did we buy these? Uh, did we buy anything? You should have said hello if you, if you thought it was us. How freaky. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, we went up to a stall and they had a bunch of perfume, well, aftershave. Yeah. <laughs> Sharon says, I thought you never dusted, <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot. But we may have to if we're going to collect knickknacks. I do dust. Thank you very much. I do. Yes. It's, it's, a, it's a... You don't. It's a fruit, I don't. It's a fruitless <laughs> task, though, right? Because the dust just appears again. Yeah. So I was looking at these on a stall. We have a diesel. It's unused inside, but this one is open. Oh, Sharon says you stayed in the car. <laughs> I think we might have been getting to a point where we were running out of money and we were like, shall we get out? And Jeff was like barking every time we pulled up anywhere, wasn't he? We had plenty of money left. Did Came you? home with, yeah. Oh, I thought I think you'd had enough. Done, no, once you'd done the, um, you bought all the Lego, I thought you'd run out. Oh, of maybe right money. at the end, yeah. Um, so yeah, CK, Cabin Klein sealed, a Davidoff Horizon sealed. It was indeed a vicious rumour. <laughs> and I've never heard of this one, but they were a pound each. I thought there was five. Oh yeah, here we go. Police. Pound each. Yeah, are you going to keep any of them? Maybe the Cabin Klein. Mm. Um, I used to wear Calvin Klein, but I, I haven't for a while. I don't know yeah. what this fragrance is. I might have to pop in boots and do a test and then go, mm, very nice, yeah. thanks. Yeah, <laughs> come you, try. you bought me some Calvin Klein perfume, didn't you? And I really like that. Yeah. Mm. I used to wear one, was it, back in the 90s? Was it, was it CK1? Mm. Anyway, well, I might, I might make a note of them or go to boots, sniff them all, and then decide which one I'm keeping. But, yeah. <laughs> Pound each, why not? Police, I've never tried that. It's got shower, oh. sh shower, shampoo. I, says... I've stayed in the car, apparently. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there were a couple of times where we did drive up and think, is there anything? Shall we drive away? But there was a couple of times I stayed in the car because Jeff was just like, I want to get in, I want to get out. I want... <laughs> oh, we did buy stuff from Sharon. Look. So, um, yeah, if you spot what we bought from you, let us know. <laughs> As it... the stall says, after three years of not dusting, it never gets any worse. So that's good to know. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> so just wait three years and then you're like, well, there's no point now. It's as bad as it's going to get. Yep. Well, Richard says, I'm interested in that diesel. Okay, um, we'll drop us a message. Probably on Instagram is, is the better place is that now do you look at your instagram messages now don't you yeah more regularly than i used to 
uh, message either myself or Andrea. Link should be below. Picked up a grow clock. I had four or five of these going back a couple of months. Listed them all in the same week and sold the whole lot. They sell quick. Grow clocks and grow eggs. Mm. Always a market. Yeah, I'm gonna sell. Um, CK one smelt gorgeous. It did and yes, I had eternity as well. I loved that. Eternity. Who did yeah. eternity? That was Calvin Klein. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. I used to wear. What's the other one? Uh, Ceruti. Mm. I think that was before we got together. I used to wear yeah. Ceruti. Um, 1812 or whatever it's called, 1764 or something, some date, <laughs> wasn't it? Know, yeah. <laughs> we picked up an Amazon. Uh, is it is it an Alexa? Or, yeah, it is an Alexa. Or whatever. We don't really want one, so we're going to sell it. Um, it was the right price. It was quite cheap, wasn't it? It's five, I think. Is it a right. fiver? Might not even be worth that. I keep seeing them. And I keep forgetting to look up what these things are actually worth to resell on eBay. So this will force me to do the research, find out, yeah. and, and, and go armed with that knowledge next time. Because, yeah. So one of those. Um, I bought a bubble because, you know, I tend to find they sell quick, not for a lot of money. But it is one of my favorite games of all time. Have we currently got a bubble? Must have somewhere. Yeah, I think we do. Um, it's a random CD here. Disney Descendants Two sealed. I don't remember where I got. Um, that was the same stall as this. Was it? Yeah. I'm not picturing the stall in my head. I can't. It remember. was the one where there was. It, it was in the school playground. Oh yeah, we went to a. Well, it should be in the video. Yeah. We went to a school and they had. It felt like I don't know twenty tables worth covered in stuff. Yeah, You've that's where it. I got the Port Marion mug from, I think. Ah, okay. Um, what have we not shared? We've shared most of it. I've got some more ceramics. I'll go for it. Let's do that then. Um, these aren't vintage, but um, they are a nice brand. So I've got lids. There's that one. But I've got, they're all wrapped up, so just bear with. It is Bloomingville. Yeah. So I've got a pair, orange and green, very retro looking, and I can't remember how much, I paid £3 for the two, I think, um, so yeah, like those, I've sold this brand before, and it's, it always reminds me of like Sass and Bell, that's that sort of thing, isn't it, but yeah. Boggle, did we get Boggle from you, Sharon? <laughs> Was that what we got from you? <laughs> All right. Oh, and guess what, I've got a pair of jugs. Oh, yeah. Show us your jugs. These are the jugs I got. Um, one is Woodsware. It's Iris. And it looks like that. This is the other one, Erin. <laughs> yeah, it should be. Family joke, and don't And this one is Churn. It's a little bit crazed, actually, this one, but I liked it. Made in England. Uh, the stall is a village charity which helps our kids' schools. They made six hundred pounds on their oh, stall. Wow. wow! Yeah, we bought quite a bit from there, didn't we? In the end. Mm. Yeah, and we bought we bought some drinks and a cookie Thank as you. well. Wasn't that there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and another game. What else did I buy? No, I think that's oh. everything in this box. Is it this? But I'll carefully check. I, I can't remember what I bought and where. I bought that. Oh, no, maybe I think it was this, wasn't it? <laughs> A big set of magnetics. Now, be cautious with these if you are going to try and resell them because some of the brands are not allowed on eBay. I'm not sure if it's this one. Yeah. I've sold these check. quite a few times. Um I need to look into that again. Yeah, I can never it's to remember. do with the um, choking danger, isn't it? And um, yeah, kids swallowing magnets and stuff, which isn't. I think great. I've still got a big. Did I sell all of that? I had a great big pot. Oh, so oh, I remember now. I sat and watched you picking up that boggle and something else. What did you buy with it? I think it was a magnetics. Oh. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. There you go. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, I. 
I can't really bring. Hang on, I'm answering Elaine. I can't really get him on my knee tonight. I've got too many breakables around me. So I could grab um, him. Shall we try and grab him? Yeah, try and grab. Well, him. should we finish the hole and dog. then we'll get a Jeff? Uh, I don't think there's much else to share. Sarah said it's a vintage one from the nineties. What is? I'm guessing the magnetics. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I picked up some more Power Rangers. I have a whole load of these to work through. Um, there's some really surprising money in these. These are the ones that have the little um, cartridges with different sounds and stuff in. Um, I'm not an expert. And I know I've had um, people message me saying they'd help me identify them. Um, I've never got around to sorting it all out. Oh, that's an Imaginex. Didn't realise. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just laughing. Um, Hamster Nibbler says, what do you guys do to relax? And, this. And Stool says, they dust Andrea's jugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, we love what we do with, as a job, so... Going going out sourcing is our kind of mutual fun thing to do. Yeah, we like to do pub quizzes. That or a pub. Yeah. Um, pub. <laughs> we love walks in the woods. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we love doing that. And watching old reruns of Top of the Pops. Oh yeah, and that. <laughs> um, um, and Taskmaster. Taskmaster, the best program on television. So there's one of the little cartridges. If you ever spot, sometimes it's hard to know if things are Power Rangers. If they've got these little um, cartridges Hi, with. You're coming in right at the end of the hall now. <laughs> so a bag full of Power Rangers. Um, yeah, that's a nice pickup. In fact, yeah, I think the Fortnite game came from this store. Yeah, that makes sense. Ooh. I've got myself. I think that's it. Oh, there's a, a few more bits of Lego. Little sealed packets. Star Wars one. Do you remember when they were issuing them in the newspapers? I think that's one of them. Yeah. Nanny used to collect tokens for me. Hmm. <laughs> Did you have anything else? Um, no, that's there? it. No, that is it. Right. I'll try and get a Jeff then. Yeah. Get out. So what do you think your favourite pickup has been this weekend? Uh, that big Sylvanians and Lego haul, I think. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, even though it's small, uh, I think probably the mushrooms are my favourite pickup because I just love them. Yeah, they're really, really cute. Come here, Jeff. Come here, hello. He's not sure. <laughs> hey? It's been accosted. Here he is, big hairy sausage. Stall says, compared to my life, the hills are pure rock and roll. <laughs> oh dear. Are Hello. We? I'm not sure I've ever been referred to as rock and roll. So yeah, he's feeling he's hands. feeling better. Um, he is keeping his food in a bit better. For a while, he was under the weather, weren't you? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. He loves going out walking. Um, well, all dogs do, but we've we found a route where we can let him off. And he runs around the fields and he's the happiest little dog when he's out walk walking. He's that just has a grin on his face. Who's that? Can you see yourself? Who's Jeff that? is the best pickup ever, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Look at that. Yeah, I picked up some, I assume you mean Epson there. Bought 10 Epson cartridges for a pound, or oh, a dollar, it must be in America. Sold on eBay last week for 110 plus shipping. Unbelievable return. Yeah, they're great. I, got, I only managed to find some of these ones yesterday, but they'll, they'll do okay. How are we doing He's, he's had a bath today, haven't he? He does smell slightly better than usual. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was Epson. Yeah, well done. Nice find. Um, so we normally try and wrap up with some words of wisdom. If you've got anything you want to share, 
please pop it in. Now we'll read a few out, pick our favourite and leave you with that. So, words of wisdom, thought of the day. Uh, what's your what's your word of wisdom, Jeff? Whisper in my ear. What you got? What you got for me? What did he say? Nothing. <laughs> nothing. He's got nothing. Oh. Uh, right. So, <clears throat> words of wisdom. We're not sourcing anymore until after we move. <laughs> it's more of a suggestion rather than a hard line in the sand rule. Mm. We, we are selling more on a weekly basis than we are buying. So the net result <laughs> is it's going down, but we are probably running out of weeks until we actually move. I, I would guess we've got about a month left. Um, I don't know, really. I'm, I'm still on the two months in my head. I don't know. Well, how long has it been since we... It's been about a month already, hasn't it? Yeah, we've had setbacks, haven't we? With um, Yeah, our buyers had to renegotiate a mortgage. Um, we had trouble arranging, finding the right surveyor and arranging that. So that's that's been put back till... What, was it 27th, did you say? When's our survey going on? 20, 26th, I think. 26th. We haven't had our building survey done on the on the property we're buying yet, so yeah. that's still in the works. Yeah, they have quite a backlog, don't they, at the moment, because they're yeah. lots of people buying houses. Yeah, I think everyone kind of, through COVID, a lot of people didn't move, and now a lot of people are. So solicitors, surveyors, all that are very busy. Yeah. I don't think we can promise that, Angela, I'm afraid. <laughs> what, don't don't buy anything until you've moved. It's unlikely to We happen. haven't been going to boot sales. We've only been going to jumble trails. Yeah, we bought way less than we normally would. You know, if you've seen our old boot sale pickup video, we would fill the car up on a Saturday and, and again on the Sunday quite often. Um, yeah. We're buying... This wasn't a massive haul. It may have looked it. It's not really no. honest. <laughs> Um, PPP says that Jeff looks a bit tired. Well, yeah, I went on a long walk across the fields today, so we've worn him out. Yeah, he did have a long one earlier. Um, everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. Fear, I wow. assume that's fear. Wow, that would is it be farted. <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> very, Susan will have for some it's a kind dog now. foody smell. Yeah. I haven't oh. eaten dog food, I promise. <laughs> I've warned you about eating the dog food. <laughs> um, um the I found two vids with Aaron. We'll watch them both tomorrow. Okay, yeah. Do you know why I really, really like Teresa's um comment now? Mm -hmm. Because um the night that we got together. And I thought you were chatting up Karen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I went into the toilets and I said that I was going to go home now. And then this very random woman came up to me and said, don't go home. I'd never met her before in my life. She said, don't go home. Um, all you've ever wanted is on the other side of that door. Well, it was a bar, the other side of that door, wasn't it? I wasn't drinking, though. I was designated driver. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> um and yeah, I've always felt like that was a bit strange that somebody would say that to me. It was, very and then I strange. went out and um, we got together. <laughs> uh, Jonathan says Jeff is the best and better than the rest. Yeah, that Jeff. Simply the best. He's, he's better not better than this hedgehog. He's... <laughs> he wants to eat the hedgehog now. Oh, yeah. look. What? Look how cute. What, next to a mushroom? Yeah. <laughs> right, let's read out some more of these. Um, M's Den. Do what inspires you. Life is too short not to love the job you do every day. Mm -hmm. It's a very nice sentiment. Yeah. People in stone houses shouldn't throw glasses. <laughs> That kind of works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
Wear a t-shirt like Nick. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, yes. <laughs> I get you. Uh, you've got to love yourself before you can love anyone else. Yeah, it is true. Remember to love yourself as much as dogs love you. Oh, interesting. That's cute. I like that one. While I was at the boots sale today, someone stole my high vis and trainers. They can run, but they can't hide. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was a serious comment then. No, it's got a punchline. Um, if Jeff say worth it must be true. <laughs> Will you have mushroom for your tat? <laughs> not much, no. Okay, hopefully Pe it's not... glass houses need curtains. Oh. <laughs> yep. Yeah, very true. But Neil says, hopefully it's not like seven months we had from the off the offer being accepted seven oh, months wow. is pushing it it's quite a while for becky and carl to be honest mm. but the thing, it doesn't really bother us um as long as the chain doesn't fall apart and, and it all goes through mm. it doesn't matter if it's next month or you know november mm. to us it's it's it'd be better if it's somewhere where nolan's home to be honest because we need her to help <laughs> Yeah, and also and to declutter her room. She'd like to be part of the whole thing anyway. I think. Yeah. You know, moving in and setting up. I like Susan's. Life is too short for dusting. It is. If you like it, do it while you enjoy it. Then stop before you don't. Mm. Bigger the smile, sharper the knife. True Trekkies will get the reference. Oh no! Not not us then. <laughs> we're, we're not trekkies. Oh, it's just jumped. Oh, it's just jumped. Where am I? Oh my goodness! Is there? Oh, okay. Remember to take your wallet when you go out buying stuff. A wasted journey oh, to today's no. car boot. Oh, how frustrating! Oh. Oh. Okay. Did you? Do you want to pick one today? I'll scroll back. When did you like? Um, do what inspires you that one M's Den yeah. there you go we will leave you on M's comment do what inspires you life is too short not to love not to love the job you do every day yes. yeah so we will leave you there thank you so much for joining us Jeff is getting very heavy he's trying to doze off now you're going to say goodbye to everyone now come up oh so we will hopefully get some content out next week. Have you got a video coming on your channel? Um, well, I've got one in the works. One in the works. Whether it goes out next week or I will endeavour to try to. I haven't edited the last week's Jumble Trail footage yet. So I'll try and get that out. Might do a picking orders video tomorrow. It depends how much time I've got. He's off. He's migrating from one to the other. Oh, he's going to sit across us. Okay. Fair enough. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you did, please give us a thumbs up. Um, and we will see you next Sunday. Yeah, we're not anywhere else. Oh, hang on. Oh, no, we won't be here next Sunday. I think we're going to have to miss next Sunday. We might do a, a Monday one. We have a family engagement. We do have a family engagement. We'll see you next Monday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Take care. See you soon. Bye.